There you go, Bill. All done changing. No more screaming. Mm -hmm. So we started the day off with a fucking diaper change screaming match, just like he always does, because, you know, like I said, he prefers to hang out in his own shit. We have to take him to the doctors today. Man is obviously going to go as well to get checked out, so um, we're just getting up and getting ready, getting the stuff together, and then we'll be going. Oh, yeah, okay. So I just fucking changed him, and then I heard, like, some crunkling and crunching in his diaper. Good one. Hi. Cough it out, Bill. Cough it out. He doesn't breathe after he does that. Gotta breathe, Bill. Breathe. There you go. Have a drink. So today is Billy's first doctor's appointment, and I guess they're gonna weigh him and just check him out, see how he's doing. He's been at home for one whole week, so I think he's doing pretty good. It was kind of difficult getting out of the door because I've never gotten out the door with a newborn baby before, so I had to like, I could have done this yesterday. I had to get his diaper bag all ready with diapers, his wipes, cream, a bottle. Yeah, I gotta, have, I gotta be prepared for when we're out in case he gets fussy. Just give him some bottled breast milk. Yeah, that's good. I'd rather give him that in a bottle than formula. What are you doing back there, Billy? I can't see you. The car ride made Billy pass out. Are you sick of being here? We were here for like nine months straight. Yeah. Well, Billy doesn't have weekly appointments like I did. Well, everything's going very good. They think everything's great. And he actually gained weight and they're like, that's like almost unheard of because babies just need lose weight. Bill was a really good boy in the doctor. He actually only screamed when we undressed him to uh, get him weighed, but after that he was good. Good thing I brought uh, bottles to feed him because when he's crying and then he gets fed, that fixes everything. Good boy, Bill. Max has to go to work right after he drops me and Billy off at home. So this was his little day out. It's really nice out, really, really warm out. So I came back here to fix it. We stopped at Subway just to get us a little bit of lunch before Max has to head off to work. So I just hopped in the back after I was done in Subway. Now he seems a little happier. Home from the doctors now. Max took off to work. And um, I'm trying to get Billy to go to sleep so I can do some video editing. And I gave, I gave Bill a big nice lunch. And uh, he's still just like, yep. I put him down because I thought he was dozing off, but then he just starts fidgeting again. And... Bill, go to sleep for a bit, please. What's the problem? You ate a big lunch. You're not cold. You're not hot. Your diaper's changed. Bill, stop it. It's okay. It's okay. Go to sleep. Do I need to cup your eyes? I was holding him and he didn't want to be in that position. Dozing off, then I put him down and he just like does this. I guess I'll try feeding him more. Max is home from work and um, our friend Aaron stopped by for a visit. And um, this camera has been in my bed hiding under a pillow. So I'm I'm back where I was when I last filmed, but this is where I sit when I'm feeding him because I've got the necessary pillows and all that stuff. So I need to prop him up with pillows to get him to feed, but whatever works. Billy was hanging out with them and listening to metal, but um, he eventually got hungry. But Billy did sit there for a while just looking around, showing off how cute he is, you know. Uh, I guess you're occupied. Face the stuff. Whoa, that's still filming. So Aaron's gone now. Uh, I guess we forgot to film because Amanda had it in here with Bill. And after Aaron hung out with Billy, Billy needed to feed and kind of relax because we were partying pretty hard. Aaron got us a sweet little pair of kicks. These are awesome. 
I like them so much because they're they're actually like rubber like real shoe on the bottom like this is a real shoe material it's not like this stupid flimsy crap that the you know other shoes have because you just throw them away anyways but these are fly like these are real look at that that's like you kick some balls with those things right there he also got us another puker I've changed it from jumper to puker because that's pretty much what they absorb even though he's not much of a puker he still does the odd time and it's usually pretty sudden and subtle. You'll just be laying there and it just... And then you're like, oh, there's puke everywhere. That's good. So, uh, Billy, what's going on? What's going on, chubby cheeks? You're fed. You're changed. What, uh, what's the deal now? Wanna go sleep, Bill? Probably not, eh? <laughs> How old are you now? One week old? One week and one day? Yeah, you're one week and one day old. Tiny little fingers, eh? Hi. Are you still hungry? Bedtime soon, Bill. Go to sleep. Well, it's almost bedtime. Um, bedtime, nighttime is always, always a little more stressful for me, anyways, because I'm the one who has to get up and feed Billy, because Max doesn't have the boobs to feed him with. No. So I have to get up every two hours. I, I don't get a full night's sleep, and I won't for probably two years. Sleeping was like a favorite pastime for me, but. Um, that's, those, those days are gone now. I just get more stressed out at night because I would love to sleep and I just can't. Because like I can change Billy and then feed him and then he might be done feeding but he still doesn't want to go to sleep and I don't want to just, I don't know, what, what do I do with him when he's just wanting to lay there and look around or when he's just still fussing about after being fed and changed. That's a difficult one there. But I'm gonna start trying to nap during the day when he's napping. But usually when I try that, he starts waking up anyways. Like, just as soon as I feel like sleeping, that's when he wakes up. But then if I don't, he can sleep for a couple hours without waking up. Max has to work again tomorrow morning. He's going to be able to sleep all night and not me. 10 a.m. All week.